How we doing, team? Eddie Gray back at it again. Talking about the very best subject in the entire world. We're talking about Logic Pro, music production, mixing and mastering, and everything contained therein. Today we're talking about untagged loops and why this should be of interest to you is simply because if you are a member of Splice, Sounds.com, Cymatics, any one of those companies that offers royalty-free samples, loops, one-shots. Now, here you have an opportunity to go ahead and import those third-party loops and make sure that they conform to the project tempo. Not only will they be readily accessible, but you will be able to implement them in your workflow in a much easier fashion. So what are untagged loops? What says here? You can add loops and loop collections not formatted as Apple Loops, the loop browser. You can preview untagged loops at either the original tempo or the project tempo. Now, I just want to make sure that I mention my experience. This still seems to be a little bit shaky, so I just want to throw that out there. We can remove the existing tempo information and then have them play back at the project tempo, which is true, and there's a little bit of a learning curve, so just giving you a heads up. Because untagged loops do not contain all the embedded information included in Apple Loops, they do not offer all the same features. Okay, let's move on. When you drag one or more loops into the untagged loops tab of the loop browser, the loops are added to this folder. So you can see key command O for the Apple Loops. We've got the Apple Loop browser. We all have all the, uh, the loop packs here as well. If you go into untagged loops, now you go into a separate area where you have all of your untagged loops. Now, how do you actually create them? How do you add them? Well, number one, you can simply just drag them from outside of your current screen set or desktop, or you can go ahead and navigate your browser list here, all files, and look for the necessary uh, folder, and then you can included inside of the untagged loops. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the loop browser, untagged loops. How do you preview them? Well, you would preview them much the same way you would preview um, the regular loops. You would just go, let's see, find some loops that'll work for us, and then you just click on them. Here now, something we should talk about is the bottom of the screen. You can preview them at the project tempo or the original tempo. Again, I find this sometimes to be shaky. Let's check it out. Here's our current BPM. So you can see clearly that that's not playing in tempo, but when you drag, it should work okay. All right, so let me go back here, okay? And then we're going to drag this guy in. This one's called Loops. In fact, let me copy this name. And we're going to drag it right in. And you will see that it will not play according to the tempo. Now, if we find this loop by using the untagged loops, you will find that what's going to happen is Logic is going to analyze the information in the background, and when you drag it in, the magic will start to happen. Okay, so here's the loop right here, and I'll preview it, and again, it's not going to be following the tempo. Regardless, even though I have this selected, it just doesn't seem to work sometimes. It may be different on your system, but again, when I drag it in, it will sound a little bit different. So here it is with the tempo. Well, there you go. It seems to be working now. Uh, sometimes you'll find that it won't work. Let me pull up another loop. Let's see if this works here. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it takes some time to adapt. I don't understand the algorithm that's backing this, but sometimes it's going to work, sometimes it's not. But here's the best part. When you actually do drag it in, now it's going to work seamlessly. And that makes for a great workflow. For those of you that do not want to use the system, look, you can also just turn on Smart Tempo 
and you can turn on set imported audio files and choose one of these algorithms to help you up. It doesn't have to look a certain way. You just need to know how to troubleshoot the things that do come up when you're producing your own music, regardless of how you choose to go about it. As long as you get to that finish line, that's the only thing that's ever really going to matter. And we appreciate you guys for coming to our channel, for getting the very best information on logic, mixing and mastering, music licensing, and all the rest. We're asking you guys to share. We're asking you to contribute to all of your fellow modern creatives. And again, from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate you so much. I want you to have a great day, a great week, and we will catch you on the next one. Cheers.